At 5 o'clock, we have Louisiana Tech traveling to number 23, NC State. NC State favorite 18 half points in this game on ESPN slash ACC Network Extra. Uh, Louisiana Tech's an interesting football team because they could easily be 4-0 right now if you take away two football plays. Uh, that's their Week 1 35-34 loss at Mississippi State if they miss that field goal. Just think about how much that changes things. If Mississippi State misses that field goal, Louisiana Tech wins that game. They start of the season 1-0. Uh, like, you just take out a co- two plays, really, and this is a 4-0 football team. Then they travel to, they play Southeast at Louisiana at home. It's a way closer game than you're expecting, but they do pull that one out, 45-42. Then they lose 39-37 to SMU in the Hail Mary pass. If that Hail Mary pass goes incomplete and the Mississippi State team misses the field goal, this is a 3-0 football team. They win the next week, 24-17 at North Texas, and we are talking way more about Louisiana Tech than we are about uh, them now. I mean, this is... This would be an undefeated, what would it be, Conference USA football team. And then we talk about them in the same level as UTSA, kind of like in the same breath. Aaron Allen, so far, uh, last week went 14-18 to 137 yards. Um, Marcus Williams Jr. had 17 carries for 73 yards and two touchdowns. Samuel Elmolis had two catches for 69 yards and a touchdown. NC State, on the other hand, has had... A pretty good season up until that point. Uh, we They had the 45 nothing win over USF. Then they had the pretty demoralizing 24-10 at Mississippi State. Kind of dropped them down to reality. But they did have a 45-7 win against Furman. And then they got the huge win against top 10 Clemson last week. 27-21 tr- quadruple uh, no, double overtime. Uh, Devin Leary, their quarterback, went 32-44 last week. Threw for 203 yards, four touchdowns, zero picks. Just shows you that this man is a really good player. He's really good at keeping control of the football. Ricky Person Jr. had 21 carries for 91 yards, and Amika Amezi had 14 catches for 116 yards and a touchdown. They've played only one... Louisiana Tech has only played at NC State once before. They are 0-1 in that one game in 2013, in which NC State won 40-14. I think this could be a closer game than most people realize, but I do think NC State's a possible playoff contender, a very good team in the ACC. I think Louisiana Tech keeps it close and covers that 18.5 point spread, but I do think NC State is the one to pull this one off.